Hello brains and hearts. When someone you love is struggling with depression, it can be almost impossible to sit with their pain without wanting to take it away. It can be scary to hear what they're going through and it hurts to watch them struggle. We wanna fix it. We want them to do the things that we think will make them feel better. Because we care, we wanna help. And that's good, that's, that's a great instinct. So how can we help? Especially when nothing we suggest seems to make a difference. According to Dr. B from Take This, the best way to help someone is to listen, empathize, and don't immediately try to problem solve. Why? Jumping to solutions that don't work for them can send the message that we don't understand, and even offering helpful solutions can unintentionally send messages like, your problem is simple. I can see how to fix it. Why can't you? Problem solving can create shame and distance when what they might really need is acceptance and connection, to feel understood, to know they're not alone. As Brene Brown points out in this video about empathy, rarely can a response make something better. What makes something better is connection. So how do we create that connection? There are lots of ways to connect with someone that have nothing to do with helping them solve their problems. But if they want to talk about what they're going through, Dr. B suggested a tool that I think is really useful. As you're listening, skip, 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 skip. We're gonna go with skip. S-C-E-P, summarize what they're saying to make sure you understand their perspective. Check to see if you got it right and allow them to correct you. Empathize with something they said that you can genuinely relate to without shifting the entire conversation to being about you. Because yeah, that can happen. Then proceed with what you would like to say, avoiding words that negate or minimize what they've said, like but, at least, it's harder than it looks. If you're worried they might hurt themselves, it's okay to ask them. It can be scary, but it won't increase their risk if you ask. Of course, as Edward pointed out in this video, depression isn't something you can talk someone out of. It's not something that goes away after a couple of conversations. Working through it will take time, possibly professional help, and for some people, it never completely goes away. So as you support those you love, remember to take care of yourself as well. Also, everyone is different, so there's no one right way to support someone. Let me know what works for you when you're feeling depressed or what you've noticed works for someone you love. Thank you to my brain board and all my Patreon brains for supporting Edward and I through what has been a really tough week. Talk about what you're going through in the comments below. We'll be listening. If you're in a dark place and you need help right away, here's a number you can call. Here's a number you can text. There are international numbers in the description below. Stick around, okay? And I will see you next week. Bye, brains.